Welcome to Newsletter Guru TV, your show with a boatload of smart marketing and business building advice and a little fun along the way. This episode of Newsletter Guru TV is brought to you by Jim Palmer's Create Your Dream Business Now Academy, a one-of-a-kind live event where Jim will personally teach you how to market and grow a more profitable business faster, even in a crappy economy. During this event, Jim will crack the code and reveal how to create a million-dollar platform on a shoestring budget. You'll learn how to generate a ton of content with ease, and you'll also network with other successful marketers and entrepreneurs. This not-to-be-missed event event is March the 13th through the 15th in Las Vegas and will quite literally transform your business. Do not miss it. Get all the details at www.stopwaitingacademy.com. www.stopwaitingacademy.com. Hey everybody, it's Jim Palmer, the News Editor Guru, and I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. I totally love doing it, by the way. It's one of the great joys is talking to entrepreneurs and helping them figure out ways to take their business to the next level. And we're going to do something a little different this week. It's kind of like mailbag. Now, sometimes I, I reference um, some email and questions I get. Well, this one was, was stuck out. Was stuck out. This one stuck out to me. Um, it is actually um, from Michael Dunamis, I think his last name in England. And just to, yesterday, so I'm shooting this on a Wednesday. So yesterday, my newsletter goes out. It goes out every Tuesday for six years to roughly 17,000 small business owners. And Michael um, replied back with the subject line, all caps, OMG. And sometimes I'll filter through my email and I see OMG and I get ready for the virtual slap. Stop sending so much email. Oh, my God. So anyway, I was like, oh, what's this going to be? And it actually says, you've done it again. Brilliant newsletter, Jim. So I was like, hey, Michael, thank you very much. You made my day. Love starting out the day that way. Then he replied back again and asked this, he said, quick question, can you please do a video on why a newsletter is better than a blog? So that's part one, it's a little bit long, I'm just gonna chop out a few elements. He gets the SEO part and things like that, but the whole idea of a print newsletter is to enrich the reader's experience with greater retention value, he's correct there. Worst off, he says, a lot of blogs I find are at an all-time low as far as the comments and interaction that people are getting with their blogs. And then I'm gonna skip down. And the third thing is, I do find as a lead generation uh, mechanism, blogs and social media are okay, but it doesn't convert anywhere near as good as a newsletter. And I about have an interruption here. Toby, you need to go out. All right, one second, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Toby is out there getting water. Otherwise, he would have been dancing by the door, making noise on the hardwood floor. So, on with the show, as they say. Um, so, basically, he's asking about a blog versus a, a print and mail newsletter. Now, here's the deal. A lot of times, I get questions like this from Michael and tons of other people that say, should I be doing this, that, or the other thing? If I was only going to do one, what would I do? And I don't like those questions, per se, because in reality... What you want to be doing, as you've heard me reference so many times in the last weeks especially, you want to be building a platform. I refer to it as a million dollar platform. A million dollar platform is something that you're on so so many people can see you can build a million dollar business. A million dollar platform is based on a lot of different marketing tools and platforms if you will. So your overall platform has a lot of little platforms. So your overall big platform called what I call your million dollar platform consists of a blog, consists of different types of social media, your video, your podcast, your email, your print newsletter, all these different ways that you attract customers, interact with customers, use um, these tools to help with retention to keep your customers. These are all part of your overall marketing, customer getting, customer keeping strategy. That is all made up of your platform. So first and foremost, what I would say, a newsletter in a blog, you should do them both, but they're very different, so it's actually, you can't even pick one over the other. See, a blog is like an online um, place where you can post some short articles. For example, the average newsletter, which is, the average four-page newsletter has somewhere around 2,000 words. You could never post a 2,000-word blog. I mean, you could, but nobody would read it, okay? People are too busy, they're not gonna read it. With a captivating headline and a quick paragraph or two, maybe just one big paragraph, people will take in a blog, they'll move on, and that's good. That's keeping the, the flow of information back and forth, helping to build the relationship. But the number one reason for doing a print newsletter that you actually mail to your customers is to build stronger relationships. 
See, no business really wants a newsletter. What they want are more profits. Profits come from stronger relationships with your customers, clients, and patients. And the newsletter is the greatest way to build stronger relationships. When you have stronger relationships, your customers will stay longer. They'll stay engaged with your business. They're going to buy more frequently. They'll buy more of what you have to sell. And they'll also refer more. I mean, that's the great thing about a newsletter. So like I said, nobody really wants a newsletter just to have a newsletter for their business. What they want is the benefit which is the stronger relationships and the benefit of stronger relationships is higher profits. That's what a newsletter does. A blog, in my opinion, is not a way to keep customers. It's a way to attract potential customers. So much of what we're talking about with social media, with blogging, with me doing videos is all about customer getting and probably to a smaller degree customer retention. So I think a print and mail newsletter is a phenomenal way to build stronger relationships so that you keep your customers longer. But all these other platforms that we're talking about are really customer attracting and customer getting. Michael um, then made a comment. Um, comments are blogs are at an all-time low. That's true. Um, as far as my, as far as my um, unscientific poll, I would say, and maybe somebody's out there going, no, it's not. But anyway, I think they are down. You know what else is down? Comments on Facebook, comments or other on social media. That doesn't mean it's not the right thing to do. I shot a video, I think it was actually last summer or last fall. I think Nathan was here because I think I shot it out in the trail. But anyway, I remember sharing it about um, people are concerned. How come nobody's liking my post? Nobody's comments. First of all, I think the way the Facebook, speaking of Facebook, a logarithm is going, a lot fewer people are seeing your stuff, first of all. Second of all, I think people see it, they take it in, they might nod and move down, you know, people are on their mouse or they're on their smartphone going like this, right? So they're not sitting there to type and comment. Doesn't mean you're not making an impression, doesn't mean you're not having an impact, it doesn't mean you're not having a connection with people in your community, whether it be social media or otherwise. Somebody asked me, we had a team phone call just the other day, and somebody says, um, hey, how many, I know, you know your YouTube channel, you're like, I don't know, 135, 40,000 views. What are your views on News at a Guru TV? I said, I have no idea. And then somebody asked me, how many, how many podcasts are downloaded on, on Stick Like Glue Radio? I said, I have no idea. And they said, well, why not? Why shouldn't you know that? And I said, here's the deal. I put out, this is my opinion, I put out great content almost daily, right? A lot of content every week because I want to attract people into my world. If they're interested in what I do, that's perfect. But I'm going to put out information like I'm doing in the video so that people might resonate with it. If they resonate with video, great. If they resonate with a podcast, fantastic. If they like reading my blog, great. If they like reading success tips on Facebook or other things that I do, perfect. Sometimes I think people will touch on all of it and it just builds a strong relationship. But I don't take offense or I don't even worry about the number of likes I have or the number of comments I'm generating. I'm caring about growing my business. My business has grown for probably the last four years, pretty much by leaps and bounds, I guess would be a good definition. And it's because of everything I'm doing, not any one thing, although video is probably the strongest thing, but it's growing by doing everything. So I guess I would tell Michael, yeah, comments are down, but don't be so concerned if less people are commenting. Doesn't mean you're not making an impact. And the final thing he said, I do lead generation blog. I understand um, lead generation blogging, social media is okay, but it doesn't convert. You know what? It's not meant to convert, Michael, okay? And anybody else that thinks you're going to convert on social media. The minute you start selling, the minute you start acting like a salesperson, salesman, saleswoman, whatever, and every blog, every blog post or, or, or social media post you put is, click here for, for the greatest price on this, buy my book. You know, every time you see somebody, so buy this, buy this, get this. That's not what developing a relationship is. Can you imagine walking into your neighbor's house when they invite you over for dinner? Hey, how are things going? Great, but do you have my book? I don't see my book on your bookshelf. Or, or you go to a network event, hi, Jim. Hey, it's nice to meet you, Mark. What do you do? Blah, blah, blah. What do you do, Jim? I have cost no hassle newsletters, no hassle social media. I got a program I just developed called How to Sell from the Stage Like a Pro. You ought to buy it, man. It's going to really, really help you. I mean, what a freaking turnoff that is. You know what I mean? So, what I would say, Michael, and I know uh, you can read a lot into emails, so I don't mean to jump on you specifically, but all this stuff you're doing on your platform is not necessarily meant to sell. It's meant to 
to, to first of all initiate, generate, and create stronger relationships with people that may eventually, at the time of their choosing, because buyers buy when they're ready to buy, buyers buy when they're ready to buy, and that's when they would become a customer. So keep putting out good information, supply people with value, be a giver first, don't go being a, a taker, so to speak. So um, the little voice in my head said, Jim, you are probably way long in this video. I have no idea how long I've been talking, but I think I answered that pretty effectively. So. I will say this, if you found some value in what I've shared with you, and I think there's a lot of value in this video, talking about all its forms of social media, blogging, building your million dollar platform, then I would appreciate it very much if you'd click the like button or share button. Go ahead and leave a comment. If you don't, I still know you're watching, but I love getting the comments and um, appreciate your comment, Michael. Thank you very much. I'm glad you appreciate my newsletter. and. Um, Speaking of the million dollar platform, you know, if you want to really learn how to do that, I've only, as I'm recording this video, I've only got 26 seats left at my Create Your Dream Business Now Academy that I'm doing in Las Vegas, March 13th, 14th, and 15th. So check that out. Be sure to check out Stick Like Lou Radio, speaking of podcast. It is the only podcast dedicated to helping you create an everlasting bond with your customers so they stay longer, spend more, and refer more. And those are all great things in your business. You can get that, by the way, at iTunes or GetJimPalmer.com. I think that's about it. So my name is Jim Palmer. I'm the host of Newsletter Guru TV. Keep your questions coming. Every once in a while, I'll print one out and, and take it right in front of the camera here. I am committed to helping you and you and you build a more profitable business faster. Watch for another great episode of Newsletter Guru TV next week. And until then, you take good care.